Hi, this is Julie Campbell with two peas in a bucket, and welcome to this week's Finally Friday card tutorial. This week's card was inspired by the new Midway collection by October Afternoon. As you can see, this 8x8 paper pad is full of really great prints and patterns, but there was one particular piece of paper that seemed a little bit tricky to find a good use for. This particular piece of paper is full of different vintage photo booth style pictures and that is where the inspiration for this card came from. I decided to challenge myself and find a way to use this piece of paper to its fullest. If you were a child in the 80s like I was, this Viewmaster shape probably brings back quite a few memories. I cut this out using my silhouette, but you could also cut something similar using a circle die and an X-Acto knife. I cut the patterned paper into strips, making it a little bit easier to select the photos that I wanted to use. From there, I just trimmed each individual picture so that I could select the pictures that best fit in the Viewmaster openings. So once I found a good fit, I just held that photo in place and then secured it with some scotch tape on the back side of the die cut. I'm going to repeat this process until the entire Viewmaster image is filled with photos. This is what the finished product looks like at this point, and now we're going to work on the card base. I cut this card base using standard 8.5 by 11 cardstock. The front of the card is 5 inches long and the inside of the card is 6 inches long, allowing part of the inside of the card to actually show through, and that's part of our design. Studio Calico has a new collection called Yearbook, and that's what we will be using to cover the front of our card. I just trimmed a section that was 5 inches long by 4 inches wide and I'm going to adhere that directly onto the card. This is going to add a nice pop of color. The squares in the pattern paper mimic the square cutouts that are found in the Viewmaster image. It's time to adhere our die cut onto the front of the card, and part of the Viewmaster image is going to extend beyond the sides of the card, so that part will have to be trimmed later. I'm just going to adjust the image until I get the photos. There are some particular photos that I just really wanted to include on the card. So once I find those and get a good placement, I'll go ahead and press that in place. And as you can see, this is the overhang that I was talking about. So I'm just uh, going to use my paper trimmer and cut that off. So now we have nice straight edges on our card front. It's time to add a sentiment. So I'm pulling out one of my favorite sentiment sets. This is from Studio Calico. It's their Heyday Sentiment Set. And I love that there is basically a sentiment for almost every occasion that I like to make cards for. It's a great sentiment set. I've just uh, placed the stamp that I've chosen on an acrylic block and I'm going to ink that and stamp it in place. The card is coming together, but we need to add some embellishments to add a little bit more visual interest and some pop of color. I'm pulling out some star mistable shapes from Studio Calico. And these are basically canvas shapes that can be inked, they can be mist, of course. You can even add chalk to add color, or you can just use them as is um, if you just want a nice white embellishment. But I'm going to go ahead and mist the star for today using some nice bright red 
spray mist from October afternoon. Once the star is dry, it can be added directly onto the card. It already has an adhesive back. So I just press that in place and I want to add a few more embellishments as well. I love these enamel dots by My Mind's Eye. They look almost like little dots of fingernail polish that um, has been dropped and dried perhaps. Actually a little bit prettier than that, but they're nice and flat. Um, just a really unique embellishment and I like them so much better than a pearl or you know just a standard embellishment. They just add a lot of unique texture and they're a very popular embellishment right now. They're hard to keep in stock in the store. Um, the bottom of our card is a little bare, so I want to add some color to that as well. This is some of the new washi tape that's found at Two Peas in a Bucket. I'm just going to add a strip of this red polka dot to the bottom. This is one of my favorite washies right now. I got it because it's going to be perfect during the Christmas holiday but it can be used all year round as well. And this is a really fun tape. This is also from um, October Afternoon's Midway collection. And it's just lots of different speech bubbles with different texts in each of those bubbles. So I am just trying to center that in place. That looks about right. I love washi tape because it can be used for cards and packaging as well. I'm just trimming the excess washi from the card. And this is just a really fun surprise for when you open the card to see the washi strips in place. And that completes our card today. I hope you've enjoyed this Finally Friday card tutorial. It's hard to believe, but the most challenging pattern paper from this collection might actually be my favorite now after this project.